didn't realize it was that loud. <laughs> Morning. Are you Krispy creaming it? Yeah. yeah, that's. Yeah. Uh, admit, who am I admitting? Shay. Jan, even during your imaging, she's, can you hear me, Shay? Yes. All right. Jen? Jen's audio is connected. Hi. Hello. Hi. We're having Krispy Kreme donuts. Sorry you're not here today. What? <laughs> exactly. I, knew. <laughs> I only bought a dozen because there's so few of us that are going to be here. That's okay. I don't need it anyways. I don't need them either. I'm yeah. having one. Yeah, Parker doesn't. I think between Sarah and Kat, they'll finish the rest. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Good morning. Can you see the video? Uh, you. you my video? No. Uh, no. Okay. I Because I'm holding up a Krispy Kreme box. Oh, that's. And it's sitting on your chair. Box of um, Krispy Kreme. Oh, anyway. So Jasmine and Wendy are not able to join us. So I'm waiting for Rob and Josetta. Oh, and Eileen's got a project that she's working on so she won't so we're just waiting for two more you need like some uh, old music or something <laughs> to put on while we're waiting for elevator style music you know, right music Ninety nine bottles of beer on the wall. No, no wait, we'll do that. No, okay, got it. That's not it. Yeah, that's not it. <laughs> I mean, like anger or something. Yeah. Yelling.
There we go. That's good. Right. I made it. Hey, awesome. <laughs> awesome. I think we'll start since we're already a little over five minutes from start time. So welcome, everyone. Um, who was here the day that the state board visited? Me. 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 Okay. Um, any input on what you saw and how long they stayed? I wasn't here, so. Yes. <laughs> Anybody? They didn't really do that much. Yeah. I mean, I, for, I was pretty shocked, actually. He just came and checked my door once and asked about my license, and then that was it. Right. right. Yeah, Wendy didn't have her current license here, but she did have proof of her ordering it, and they let her off the hook without a fine, so that was nice. I think they're trying to be nicer since they're coming back in after Maybe. 24 Although months. Although, in Wendy's case, it, it's not really... It's kind of a system, their system yeah. that's causing the trouble. So it's, yeah. he believed her right. and therefore didn't write her because, you know, another, yeah, you could be right. Another guy might be mean and say, well, right. that's too bad. You know, bring your receipt of your license and you can get this fine wave or something like that. Right. Yeah. He was, uh, I thought he said he was from Staples because <laughs> he had a mask on and a little Staples? bit of an accent. And he, you know, state board. Oh, well, state board. Kind of ran it Staples, together, yeah. and I thought he was from Staples. Staples, that's and good. I'm like, well, why? We we didn't order anything, but right. And then, so I would, so <laughs> I try to imagine the look on my face that he saw. When I, but anyway, right. he uh, just like wanted to know what we use for sanitizers, right. and uh, what else? Um, he moved one of the developer bottles, like. He said, you need to have this over here. And I was like, all right, dude, uh, I believe you. And then he sanitized his hands. And then he wanted to know where everybody was and where their licenses were. And that was basically it. All right. So. He's the same guy that's been in before. So. Okay. You had seen him before? OK, good. And he complimented yeah. us, too. By the way, he said. He's the same guy that, that it's, that's the same guy that we've seen the last couple times. Okay. Right. Maybe he's the regional territory guy over here, but yeah, he complimented us and said that we do a good job. And um, and he did say that most of the places that fail are nail places. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, cool. Congratulations, everyone. You did a good job and we didn't get fined. So yeah, nice work. We did not yeah. have a bunch of hair and crap in your drawers. Cause I know if they open right. the drawer and they see a bunch of wadded up hair, right. then they'll, they'll, and that's where I keep my hair. Uh -huh. um, so I guess I, I don't know if I get fine for that or not. Okay, cool. So we're also revisiting the towel storage and being able to open the second changing room. Um, we're puzzled and trying to figure out ways to make it easier so we don't have to spend the amount of time rolling the towels. I think it's a little faster folding them the way we do right now. Yes, no, anybody? Slightly. Slightly? Yeah. I think we, what, meeting or two ago, we were brainstorming possible storage options. I don't think we ever came up with anything. No. But, we haven't. Uh, we, we, at some point, we don't want to wait beyond, you know, like if, if we just need to put the old boxes up or something, right. we may have to do that. Right. Because it's more, more frequently now where there's somebody trying to get in and change, right. the one change here is being too much demand on it so right for we sure give ourselves a deadline uh april 30th okay april 30th we'll have something done for sure open so to if you have any brilliant ideas yeah. uh anytime soon any inspiration right let's know we have a brilliant team so i know there's a brilliant mind with an idea out there so cool um we are Doing a, we want to do a meeting of the minds for color training for Bella so that we can get her engaged in that. Um, and uh, Rob and Sarah, you two are, and Jen are the only ones. Jen, can you still hear us? Because you have, you're on mute. Yes, I can. Okay, good. So you three right now being on the meeting, any ideas on how to engage Bella in 
color formulating and doing models and stuff like that. <laughs> okay, don't all of you talk at once, please. So I, I guess when I get to work with her, I have her match up color and try to figure out the formula before I give it to her the last right. time we did that so that she can figure out what's going on in the hair right? as well. Good job, Jen. Yeah. Yeah. That, thank you. I've, I've watched the two of you work together and it seems really good. Bella, any input? You're on mute. Yeah. Um, most stylists like let me mix their color and like show me like their formulas and how to do like the like different um like how milkshake is like uh different like sorry um it's like different ounces for different things so right they've been teaching me that awesome yeah. and so what about applications i've seen you apply color to several of the team members um oh yeah and so what if, what kind of oversight on application of overall color or foils would be necessary and could that be done during the day? Just thinking out loud. I'm not sure what you mean. Yeah, yeah I have no idea. Phrase it. Uh, here, well, here's Is that what I clear? Um, I talked to Josetta, if I can jump in. I talked to Josetta, I think yesterday, the day before, about this. Um, and uh, what we probably want to do is meet with her and, and Jen, maybe Robin, mm -hmm. Sarah, when, uh, try to get three or four of the colorists in a meeting specific to, I think, the primary thing we want to have when, as, bad, as Bella is transitioning to the color part of the program is a um, uh, kind of an arc of what what all do we need to make sure she's done, that she has, or she has an opportunity to do, uh, you know, a handful of the kinds of models she should do right. to get her, to, to ramp her up to um, an entry level stylist where, or where she's at least starting to take some color clients during the training, the rest of her training program. Right. So if we can, if we can get a, an idea of the progression of that, and we need colorists to, to help do that, obviously, because mm. if you and I do that, it's going to be a, a, a show, a failure. A show. <laughs> That's just, but right. uh, and just said uh, she's not on, is she? No. Yeah. So she she was on board for that. She thought that sounded good. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it will be terribly difficult to at least get that outlined and right. then start implementing it from there. And then the way you and I have been doing it with uh, doing some one week doing some focus on mannequin work mm -hmm. and then taking that focus and having her schedule a model that she can do during the day on somebody you know and work on what she and do on the model what she's been working on the previous week anyway that's all stuff i think we could hammer out in like a 30 minute right you know meeting okay is that okay yeah Sounds good. And it doesn't have to be next week but we'll, we'll want to do that in April sometime. Right. Because it's a, that's a transitional. We'll get that on a calendar for sure. With a deadline or a live line. Um, dress code. We want to kind of think about upgrading our dress code. We, you know, things start in order and gradually go to disorder. That's kind of the way the universe was designed and um, black want, and gray. Yeah. Black and gray. <laughs> yeah. Right. We want to go back to Black Thursday. So anybody that's not here yet, that's coming in today, make sure you have black on. Um, if you can, if you have to do laundry, then start next week. But right. if it doesn't smell too bad, go ahead and put it on. <laughs> Maybe fluff it in the dryer. Open. And then we want a casual day. I, I think it would be good to have a casual day. Sometimes, you know, businesses have casual Friday. Um, and I'll leave, leave that to the team to figure out and recommend what day casual day would be. Um, but we still want to not have body parts hanging out on casual day. We want to still look professional, but casual. So, so Rob, if you wear a tank top, you have to shave your armpits <laughs> or at least braid them. casual day every day, except for Thursday. Oh, no, no, <laughs> that's the problem. Yeah. That, that's why we want to amp it up a it's little bit. Too, so the creep. Yeah. Um, Can we have a, a Bitcoin attire day? Yeah. <laughs> 
That would be casual. That day. would be your casual. Day. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you pay us Bitcoin. Unless in if order you to... want to put like a vest and a bow tie on and have a Bitcoin something, then right. that'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Tuxedo Bitcoin, right. Ooh. Okay, so we'll continue to discuss that and get some details. Uh, I was picking Jasmine's brain because she's a good fashionista and she had some good suggestions. Um, and just about like looking the part, we charge good prices. So looking the part is very, very helpful too. It is, it is a smart thing to wear as much black as possible all the time. I'm just gonna throw that. So, right. um, you know, blue jeans are probably a no-go unless it's casual right. day. Um, black, gray, whatever, something that goes with some neutral type stuff. I don't know. Right. But yeah, if, if, if you're thinking about your wardrobe for the week, just make sure, you know, there's black in a lot of it and you'll probably be in good shape mm -hmm. as, as, for now. And then we'll continue to talk about, right. you know, dress code stuff. But I think that that's about 80% of it to me. And then right. Thursday can be an all black day where you got to you know, wear black, black, black. Right. If that is cool. Sound good? I think we, it's not, I mean, we, we all decided that a long time ago. Right. We liked that idea. Right. So just a reminder and right. let's, let's move that direction yeah. again. Just a refresh. Cause it looks nice. Exactly. It really does look nice. Exactly. Has anybody ever started a goal? And then when they were three quarters of the way there, they kind of got sidetracked. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I think that's a human condition. So we just have to cross check one another kindly and with grace. Um, we have a promotion coming up starting tomorrow. Every guest who is scheduling their next appointments when they're leaving, which our, our behind the scenes term is pre-booking, but we don't want to actually say that to the guest. So scheduling your next appointment for each one that they schedule, if they schedule a haircut, if they schedule a color, or if they schedule for the next three months out, there's, you, are, are any of you seeing my video? Yes. Okay, good. So we've got entry blanks that they'll write their name on the back and we have a little jar that will have a sign on it and they'll put their name in there. At the end of the month, we'll compile and like the first week in May, we'll pick three names of guests out and they'll each win a $100 gift certificate here. Nice. And I think, I think it'll just help kind of get back in that groove of rather than, well, I'll call when I get a chance or let me look at my calendar. Like you might win some money. So it's a good idea to have that. The caveat would be a client who said, well, I'm already booked for the rest of the year. Then if they ask that, give them X number and let them enter that many times. So if they have five appointments already right. booked out, you have five tickets. Right. Does that makes sense. Yep. Okay. Because don't we don't need to penalize somebody who's already on board with that. Right. For sure. Yeah. So. Yeah. And um, as a way to energize that, you know, just a reminder for stylists, uh, even a casual dropping uh, during the appointment to your client, just dropping a, uh, um, you know, do you have your next appointment scheduled or, you know, uh, do we, do I usually see you six weeks mm -hmm. out from now? You know, that kind of a thing, just very soft and like, just to like plant the seed. Um, Cause that, I think that, that that's a very low investment in terms of the conversation you have just really subtle. And then, um, and then you can segue into the, the thing and don't use the word pre-book yeah. you schedule or right. reserve or whatever, but, um, but yeah, if, if, if we all, mention it to every one of our clients and then the front desk and then they know about the contest and then the front desk invites them they're going to be way more likely to do it especially if it's somebody who hasn't done it before right and it's a drawing not an actual contest right so but and if you hear no then you've asked the right number of questions people sometimes are afraid to hear the word no but if you haven't heard no you probably haven't asked enough questions about anything whether it be take-home products or whatever so just a nice little habit to get into. And today's the last day of our 20% sale, by the way. Um, 
And thank you for everyone. You're doing way better with that manual time clock sheet if you've forgotten to check in or out, Sarah. I mean, wait, <laughs> um, thank you for all those signups because it makes it so much easier than having to go through and figure out when did someone come in, when did they leave? And I actually subtract badges if I have to do that and realize that nobody, somebody had like five hours when they worked uh, 14 days. That's not, that's not possible to generate that um, number of guests in five hours. <laughs> Right. Not the way I see it. So I have a uh, question about the logging in for time clocks. Mm -hmm. When you log in and it says clock in, like it makes you you click OK and then you still have to do another clock in or does yeah. that actually register it? No. Do you, you know what I'm talking about? It should register it when it when that little box comes up and you hit OK, it should be registering it because you're already past your time oh i see what you're asking yeah once you sign you in you don't have to do the because it always asks me for username and password again yes and the reason it does that is because if you go to if, if it goes open with somebody else's password which is right not unusual right. and you go and you say clock in if it automatically clocked in whoever was signed in or clocked out whoever, you know what i'm saying right. it, it would be confusing so it's a separate entry that has to be done it's a little safety check yeah okay but my question is do i still have to do that part yeah well i think if you're asking about when you go when you hit clock in and then the little new window pops up and up in the top left there's name and and uh, password so every time i log in yeah. there's like a thing that says sarah and then clock in and then you can push okay Right. Or cancel. So it looks like it's clocking in, but then I've been going back in and redoing username and password. So I'm trying to see if I can skip that step. So I, Get out of there. Uh, uh -oh. Since I don't track my hours because it would scare me for the three cents an hour that I get, um, show me next time. Uh, yeah. You guys, better, I can help you on Saturday. We can go over it. Yeah. I because what you're what you're describing doesn't sound like what I'm thinking of, so yeah. um, I want to see that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it gives me it's almost like two step, and I'm like trying to figure out if I can just skip. <laughs> yeah. Like when no, I log in, I, can I just skip that I, part because it I looks like I'm clocking in. I don't think so, but I we should see it. Yeah. We need, uh, say yes or no now because we might be wrong, but I don't think so. Okay. Kendrick. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. 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 He hasn't called me for a couple of days. I'm getting worried. <laughs> Does he call you? <laughs> he FaceTimes me. That's awesome. That's when the first time I called your boss. <laughs> yeah. I called you. Yeah, I called boss. Okay. Hey there. Yeah, hold on a second. This is what's happening. Oh, there, oh, there it yeah. is. Yeah. Idle hands, man. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, I'm like, thanks a lot, dude. That's great. Well, you're not paying attention to it. So, yeah. Kids will do anything for attention for sure. Um, so, um, input from our front desk. I guess is Kat right now, right? Oh, Shay. Oh, Shay's on. Cool. Shay. Um, yeah. yeah. Just want to make Can sure. Input, that, how have we been doing to help all of you at the front? Is there anything that we are missing or omitting that makes you do two more steps that you don't really need to do? Um, not at all. I like that Josetta and I think Wendy too, on the tickets, they will write down like how many weeks out the guests usually will have to come back in. Right. And Josetta will even sometimes, you know, come up front and help, mm -hmm. you know, schedule for the next appointments and maybe see like how we can mm -hmm. open up some times right. you know for awesome. them to come in so i really like that but other than that yeah. so yeah that might be a good habit for more of us to do is write how many weeks um because especially if you have five tickets that you're handling and we said oh five weeks and then they're the fifth person you're handling how are you going to remember that i wouldn't right. yeah i wouldn't remember that for sure um yeah that's did, a good that's a good uh habit to be in is is uh, having that next appointment mm -hmm. 
interval written down on there. Right. Just something to do even when you're here in the you know 10 minutes before your clients are showing up. Mm -hmm. Just count really quick and have that done and you don't have to think about it. Yeah, because some guests will like yell out like, hey Parker, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> out, you, you know. yeah. Using the ones with intercom. Yeah. Hey Parker. <laughs> yeah. So okay, cool. And the nice thing about that is if we were to ever be in a space where the front desk and the styling area was was completely isolated they wouldn't be able to do that right <laughs> right so if it's on the ticket already then... right right true um wine protocols everybody know what we're doing with wine now not yes. at once <laughs> this is the problem with zoom calls yeah yes um, yes okay Good. We're not got to find uh, that mute unmute button. I know, <laughs> okay. exactly. Yeah, we're we're not serving wine to the guests anymore. That's just for us. Oh wait, no, that's wrong. <laughs> so just keep like, there's no way we know whether or not someone had alcohol before they came for their visit. So we have to be extremely careful. Sometimes you can tell. But yes, yeah, so sure. there have been times that I've <laughs> taken keys away from people. Yeah. That person doesn't come in anymore, but I think I might have prevented them from killing, somebody. killing yeah. themselves or somebody. Um, so we just want half a glass, one half a glass, um, and it'll it'll help within our wine budget. And also help with our liability element, and it's nice. Not everybody wants wine, and you know if it's nine thirty in the morning, probably not. A time to offer somebody wine yeah because if they're asking for it at that point they may have already had some 9 30 is not wine 30. yeah it's that's kind of rhymes so yeah, it's, yeah. Why I said it, it yeah. could be a thing there part i think that could be a thing it sounds good yeah, yeah. wine 30 after <laughs> yeah if you're not in the chair at 9 30 there's no wine for you 30 so okay um january February and today's notes are on the team app under staff. If you ever wanted to review any of those. Um, and that just gives, I, even though I'm recording this, the reason I didn't do a screen share with the notes up is because it's really difficult to record and it gets messy. So that's why I'm now putting them all on the team app. So um, anybody have anything else that they would like to add? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I two two things that I kept meaning to put on the notes. Uh, uh, oh yeah. One, I think that we should maybe plan for the next meeting um, to discuss another team event at some point this year. Mm -hmm. Now that things are. Right. open and hopefully stay that way and if we have something planned and things go well then we can do that but another mm -hmm. yeah another you know we did the um oh, so we go real is that what uh, you know we we did that no we did the uh yeah something like that what was the oh the escape room thing oh, escape room yeah uh that was fun that was fun but you know just ideas for that so maybe if you think if if you can all hear me if you brainstorm something along the lines of a, a dinner out or an activity or something. Um, and we can talk next meeting uh, about setting something like that up. It's good. Because the, uh, there are, it, it's beneficial to meet like this once a month. We need, there's things we need to cover and there's stuff that needs to get communicated. We do have Telegram um, for the in-between stuff and we, you know try to keep the flow of, information and all that happening um but there's a kind of only so much that this sort of format you know we're missing the uh, in-person element um which just isn't going to work on a monthly basis but having an event i think on the schedule is would be really nice and then Along those lines, um, maybe exploring the idea of quarterly doing a, an in-person meeting, not an event, but um, having you know three or four times a year where we actually do meet, because we do need to we do need to figure out how to get a little bit of group 
in person right. um, meetings happening. In addition, you know, or or Zoom can get us most of the way there. But I, anyway, those are the two things. So an event, a group event, uh, and then um, examining the possibility of doing maybe quarterly, and they would be set up in advance so right. you would know what date right. they were, and not so you can make sure anything, you don't schedule yeah. anything. Yeah, right. because you know it's we want to be really flexible because. People have things, you know, Wendy's got things and Jasmine has things. And so, um, you know, we want to allow room for people to do that, especially when you've got big stuff happening in your life, you know. Um, but it's extremely important, I think, that we are able to meet in person a, a little bit. Um, so we need to prioritize that. So that's all I have. Anybody else or anybody have anything to say about that? You want to fight? <laughs> we <will> fight. No, <clears throat> no fighting. <laughs> Take all the fun I, out of it, though. I had a question, but it has nothing to do with that. That's fine. <laughs> so I was wondering if Bella had any questions about color theory or anything that she wanted to learn from us that she hasn't seen going on yet. You're muted, Bella. Oh, there Here we go. Um, I think that I've seen a lot of things, but, but mostly it would just be like watching, I guess, would be watching more highlights and balayages. I see a lot of like all overs and that, but like more detail. If that makes sense, you know? Yes. Totally. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, just get. Yeah. Communication, questions, speaking up, that's important. Well, and yeah, and that's a good, um, when we get a meeting with colorists, we might want to have some input with Bella too, mm -hmm. uh, as a part of that, just because right. I mean, if you think about maybe what 80% of the color services we perform, I mean like what, all over colors, yeah, touch-ups, and then highlights and balayages, I mean, the bread and butter stuff should definitely be the focus. And it sounds like Bella is, rec she recognizes, hey, this is, I want to see more of this stuff. So, um, yeah, anyway. Right. Okay. And thank you everyone for helping train her on how to charge correctly. Yeah. Because that's a big factor in the growth and, you know, budget management and overall income. So it's cool. Ruby. Cool. Um, Shay, thanks for hanging out with us and welcome to your first official team meeting, right? Yes. Okay, cool. I, that's the hard part is when people aren't here in person knowing, and you've been to a team meeting already, right? Yeah, okay. This is the, the old mind syndrome, I guess. So. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Well, I think it is you, good boy. We we have the last the two left side hood dryers now are both brand new. Yay! Uh, Rob and I did a um, semi quick switch yesterday. It was like a Rube Goldberg switch. Um, I wish it had been videoed. I'm sure we would be influencers now on YouTube. But uh, but thanks, Rob, for that. <laughs> um, and the other ones are doing okay for the time being. But we're just going to gradually uh, replace those as they're, because some of the timers aren't turning off. They just, I came in here to clean one weekend and the dryer was on the whole weekend. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've turned one off a few times. Yeah. It has been, it's hot, it's hot. Okay, uh, see All some, right. some of you later and some of you later in the week, if not next week. Sounds good, thanks boys. All right, Go take care, thanks. <laughs> good night. Good night. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.